Incredible books are published every year, but certain books have held a particular appeal for men over the centuries. Many of the best books for men explicitly deal with themes of masculinity or fatherhood. Many of the books we tag fiction are not actually out of reality. These are birthed from truths and life stories. In this video, I will share with you 9 books every man should read. 1. The Apprenticeship of Duddy Kravitz by Mordecai Richler Duddy is the ultimate Jewish hustler, always working, always skimming, always looking for a deal and looked down upon by everyone for his limitless ambition. Family, friends, lovers and teachers all contribute to Duddy's burgeoning obsession with power and money, desires embodied in possession of the land. Duddy comes to believe land ownership to be life's ultimate goal and how a man is made into somebody. Duddy never stops in his pursuit to acquire real estate to be somebody. Throughout his quest, he never forgets his grandfather's maxim that a man without land is nobody. From this book, every young man can learn that no matter how much you strive and hustle, if you cannot prioritize and if he does not have principles, he loses everything in the end. 2. What Makes Sammy Run by Bud Skolberg This novel explores the changes and personalities of Hollywood in the 1930s. The author reveals this topic through the story of a young Jewish boy named Sammy Glick and a news writer named Al Manhim. The book chronicles the rise and fall of Sammy Glick, the rags to riches boy from New York who makes his way through deception and betrayal. Essentially, Sammy is your Arigold without the slightest bit of human decency. Sammy is confident, aggressive, ambitious, opportunistic and attuned to the moment. He is running from self-reflection, from meaning. Sammy is an accomplished man but not a great man. This book teaches that greatness is not the same as an accomplishment. While anyone can be accomplished through dubious means, greatness is only achieved via ethics, purpose and principles. 3. Steve Jobs by Walter Isaacson For this biography, the author did more than 40 interviews with Jobs himself and then interviewed his family, friends and business associates. Isaacson recounts Jobs' life and achievements and a lot of dirty secrets that shed a better light on who Steve Jobs was. At Steve Jobs' core was his incredible intensity and everything he did in life was a product of that intensity. The fierceness of Steve Jobs' personality lights up the book and his remarkable achievements will make every young man think you should get up early tomorrow morning. In the words of Steve Jobs, I think most creative people want to express appreciation for being able to take advantage of the work that has been done by others before us. We try to use the talents we do have to express our deep feelings, show our appreciation of all the contributions that came before us and add something to that flow. That's what has driven me. 4. The Boy's Life by Tobias Wolfe 1955, Toby Wolfe and his mother are on their way to Utah to make their fortune by mining uranium. While in Utah, Toby changes his name to Jack to remove himself from his father, who abandoned Jack and his mother shortly after Jack was born. Jack's father is now living in Connecticut with Jack's brother, Geoffrey a student at Princeton and is married to a millionaireess. Toby is an A-grade student, a boy deeply concerned about the world's esteem, loyal support to his mother, destined for Princeton like his brother Geoffrey. Jack, on the other hand, is a liar, a thief and violent. Both boys are versions of the same boy, a dreamer continually searching for his identity but never belonging to the world he craves. His alter ego is the splendid phantom who carries all his hopes of fleeing the harsh environment of his horrific childhood. It is clear from the beginning of the book that the author attempts to show the issues of identity and the struggle to attain a specific type of personality, a significant component in this memoir and a typical struggle in the lives of many young men. 5. Animal Farm by George Orwell Animal Farm is a novel by George Orwell which was first published in England in 17th August 1945. The book tells the story of a group of animals, farm animals who rebel against their human farmer, hoping to create a society 
where the animals can be equal, free and happy. Ultimately, however, the rebellion is betrayed and the farm ends up in a state as bad as it was before, under the dictatorship of a pig named Napoleon. This book is a symbolic account of the rise of communism in Russia. Reading and understanding this story will help every young man understand the circumstances and mindsets that can lead to an abuse of power. This book is also essential for men interested in pursuing a career in politics. Perhaps it will help you avoid some significant pitfalls associated with that industry. 6. The Road by Cormac McCarthy. One powerful quote of this book is that a man must be a law unto himself if there is to be any law at all. The Road describes the journey south taken by a young boy and his father after an unnamed catastrophe has struck the world. The man and the boy, who also remain unnamed throughout the novel, travel through the rough terrain of the southeastern United States. The conditions they face are unforgiving. Rotted corpses, landscapes devastated by fire, abandoned towns and houses, and these two travelers are among the few living creatures remaining on earth that have not been driven to murder, rape, and cannibalism. This book teaches that a person is the final judge of his decisions, hence you must make the right ones. 7. East of Eden by John Steinbeck East of Eden is a novel by Nobel Prize winner John Steinbeck, published in September 1952. East of Eden brings to life the intricate details of two families, the Trosks and the Hamiltons, and their interwoven stories. The novel was initially addressed to Steinbeck's young sons, Thumb and John. The dynamics of father-son relationships, especially the issue of the father's preference for one son over another, are central to the story told in East of Eden. The book about how Adam Trask's favoritism for one of his sons causes the other to be jealous and leads him into an action that caused his brother's life. This book, which explores the theme of evil, love, the struggle for acceptance, guilt and freedom, has many lessons for the young male folks as it tries to portray the story of the biblical Cain and Abel. The main idea is that although one of the fundamental concepts in East of Eden is that evil is an inherent and inescapable human problem, the novel also sets forth hope that each individual has the freedom to overcome evil by his or her own choices. 8. The Prince by Niccolo Machiavelli Machiavelli wrote The Prince to serve as a handbook for rulers, and he claims explicitly throughout the work that he is not interested in talking about ideal republics. Machiavelli stripped out the ideals and drew examples from history. He believed that anyone who ignores realities in a misguided attempt to live up to a model would quickly destroy himself. He de-emphasized the importance of moral considerations and focused instead on effectiveness, believing that the end justified the means. According to Canadian scholar and politician Michael Ignatieff, the prince forces readers to confront in the starkest terms possible the most important questions about politics and morality. The book contains 10 vital lessons for young men which include being present, being careful of who you trust, being picky of who works for you, preparing for the worst, read, don't steal, or be cruel, learn from the best, appearance matters, avoid flatters, and lastly, it points that sometimes your enemies are your friends. 9. I Am Legend by Richard Matheson I Am Legend is a novel by Richard Matheson in which Robert Neville struggles to survive as the sole remaining human in the world overrun by vampires. Neville spends his time fighting vampires and researching a cure. One day, he captures a woman he sees walking in broad daylight. She reveals that she is from a new hybrid race that controls their vampiric symptoms with medicine. The woman's friends capture Neville and intend to kill him, but the woman gives him pills so that he commits suicide. I Am Legend offers readers a world of continuous and almost certainly doomed combat and shows the recovery of society after the worst of crisis. The book teaches everyone, especially young men, to see themselves as products of their decisions and not their circumstances. Upgrade your library and connect with other people's struggles and experiences faced as a man by reading some of the best books for men ever written.